Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have a returning guest with us, Mark Smith. Mark is CEO of Niocorp. Niocorp can be traded as NB on the TSX Venture, and it also can be traded as NIOBF on the OTCQX. Thanks, Mark, for being back here with us today. Oh, it's my pleasure, Jim. Mark, you've had a very busy uh, couple of months, uh, very busy 2014. You just announced uh, some of the highest grade niobium assays that has been discovered to date on the Elk Creek uh, niobium deposit in Nebraska, which Nile Corp controls 100% of. Talk to us about some of the, the the development work that's been done so far in 2014. Yeah, it's very exciting, Jeb, and, and our whole goal here is to continue with these uh, technical work programs because it is our firm belief as a team that uh, the technical work is what creates true value for our shareholders. So we're very focused on, on that part of the business right now, but we have, we have three very significant items all working in parallel right now. One is the infill drilling program. Uh, that infill drilling program, as we have been reporting uh, with our news releases, is delivering uh, results really far beyond our expectations. Um, we are we are finding uh, very large sections of this ore body that are in the two to three percent niobium ore grade range, and we've actually had a couple of samples now that have come back greater than four percent. So when I think about uh, the the, the assay results that we've gotten to date, um, I start thinking about this ore body as being a world-class niobium ore body. Now, we are continuing with the drilling. Uh, we want to finish up that program, and the ultimate goal here is uh, probably kind of late September, maybe early October, uh, that we would uh, announce the results of a new NI43101 resource report. Uh, and obviously, the, the drill results that we've been reporting in the press so far will all be included in there, and our expectations are pretty high uh, in terms of what the size of the resource is going to look like, and most importantly, how much measured and indicated uh, niobium ore we can now report, which uh, is very important because that's bankable ore material. So, uh, the big... Big focus, uh, very very uh, specific targets that we're looking at there, and that uh, work is coming to a conclusion. One of the interesting things about the drilling, too, is that in the, the ore zone from previous drilling was actually open, uh, so to speak, in three different directions. And even though we've drilled farther and stretched our drilling out a little bit, uh, we're still open in three directions. We haven't found the bottom of this ore zone, the ore grade, continues to improve as we get deeper uh, into the ore body. So, um, you know, we, we'll have to do some additional drilling in the future to really understand the full size and scope of this resource, but we're extremely pleased with the results today. So that's our, our first technical work program. Our second work program, of course, is the metallurgy. Uh, you can have the world's greatest ore body, but if you can't figure out how to separate the niobium uh, from the rest of the the elements in that ore, uh, then it really isn't worth anything. And I'm happy to report that we've really kind of boiled our metallurgy down into three very separate and distinct processing um, sections. We'll have the flotation section, uh, we'll have the hydromet section, and then we'll have the aluminothermic uh, section of the process. The float section uh, is, is you know, very, very close to being done with a process flow sheet. Uh, you know, really um, almost done as well in pilot plant testing on the on the flotation section of the metallurgy uh, will begin very shortly, probably in October. Uh, the hydromet section is, uh, they're still working on a couple of issues there. The basic process has been figured out, and what we're trying to do now is to optimize that process to make sure that the economics of the overall process uh, come out as robust as, as uh, the other three producers in the world, and uh, very high hopes for that. It's really just a matter of how much acid material can we recycle as part of that hydromet process, 
what can we use for neutralization uh, reagents, that type of thing. So we're really honing in on the hydromet section as well, and the recoveries, uh, total recoveries for niobium are, are really um, surprisingly good right now, and that, uh, of course, will improve the economics of the project even more. Uh, once we plug that data into uh, the third part of our technical work program, which is the feasibility study. And the feasibility study is a major, major undertaking. Um, I, I, I know we kind of talk about drilling and, and uh, metallurgy an awful lot, but the feasibility study is a major undertaking. We are doing uh, geotechnical drilling, hydrogeological drilling on site. We've got MET stations on site now. We're doing all the environmental baseline monitoring. Uh, and this allows for the uh, engineering firm that we have retained to, to do this work, SRK, out of Denver, uh, to put the mine plan together, to put the, the uh, environmental permitting plan together, and really uh, de-risk this project to the point where it will be uh, financeable. And that, that work is, uh, we're still targeting the end of the first quarter of 2015 to have that feasibility study done. Uh, and everything looks to be uh, very much on track right now. So it is an exciting time in the company right now. The, all the technical work that's being done uh, is coming to fruition uh, as we had planned. And uh, I guess the other good news here, and, and I know you're going to you're going to ask about it anyway, but I'll just I'll just get into it, is that we're adding uh, some really top-notch people to our team as well, and that is what is allowing these technical work programs to be done efficiently. They're being done on time. They're being done on budget. And uh, it's all about people. So we are building that team as we speak. And uh, it's really becoming a strong, cohesive unit. And uh, we're very particular about who we hire because the culture has to be um, you know, what we like, which is honest people, people with integrity, technical competence, and, and the desire and passion to uh, get a, a wonderful resource like we have at NioCorp into production as soon as absolutely possible. Mark, let's go into more t detail about the team. Management is crucial when you're investing in a, a development stage mining company. Tell us about your experiences of bringing mines to production and some of the people that you've brought on to the team that have a track record of success. Well, of course, the, the most recent uh, experience I have is uh, with Molly Corp, where we took a, a, a pretty decrepit old mine and, and ancient processing facility, uh, restarted the mine with uh, state-of-the-art equipment, state-of-the-art uh, you know, GPS tracking systems, uh, unbelievable dust control measures, and uh, restarted that mining operation out at Mountain Pass, and of course also built a completely brand new processing unit, including uh, electrical power generation that is all on-site and self-contained, and a chloralkali unit which produces acid and base materials for the processing of those rare earths. So uh, quite a quite an undertaking to say the least. Um, I know Molly Corp is is still struggling trying to get uh, the volume of production up at, at, the, at the Mountain Pass facility, uh, but the facility is, is certainly done and operational at this point in time, and uh, we're pretty proud of, of uh, where we left that uh, as, as we uh, departed the company. We have brought on uh, two individuals in particular to the company right now that uh, actually three individuals to the company that are, are of, of extreme importance. Uh, the first and foremost, of course, is Scott Honan. Uh, he's vice president of corporate development. Scott is is managing all three of the technical work programs um, and, and has uh, bachelor's degrees and master's degrees in engineering and metallurgy and, and is uh, technically uh, the kind of person I like to have on my team. He's also about as honest and forthright as a person gets, so he demonstrates all the cultures that we want to see in our company. Um, he's been out on the, the site uh, quite a bit since uh, he started with us in May, and he's also got a, a very wonderful ability to relate to um, people in the area, and he's already viewed by the, the local residents there as a very trustworthy, competent person, and they love having Scott on site. He takes care of, of issues that need to be taken care of without being asked. 
he treats people very respectfully. He's an open communicator and uh, just a wonderful person to have on our team and certainly one that, that I trust. I worked with Scott for well over 10 years and uh, wouldn't even think of doing a project like this without Scott on the team. Uh, another individual we brought on to the team is a gentleman by the name of Rick Sixberry. Uh, Rick has about 38 years of processing, chemical processing experience at, uh, at mines. He knows how to build the, the, uh, the uh, processing facilities. He knows how to design those facilities. He knows how to make them, um, as, as I like to call it, workable at an operator level. Um, so it's not just something designed by an engineer. Uh, Rick puts his feed, feed uh, input into the process so that an operator can can really have um, the easiest time possible operating this equipment, and it's and it's very user friendly. So uh, that 38 years of experience is is an unbelievable asset to our company right now. And Rick's doing a fab, just an absolutely fantastic job working with SGS and Hazen on the metallurgy part of our program. Uh, the third person we just brought on board, just announced it this week, is a gentleman by the name of Neil Shaw. Uh, Neil is a mechanical engineer with an MBA that has an unbelievable aptitude for the financial and business world. Uh, he's an excellent uh, business modeler, uh, excellent, um, has an excellent understanding of all the different finance uh, methods that we can, we can use and consider for this project. And we're very fortunate to have uh, Neil on board at this point in time as our vice president of finance. So those are the three new additions. Um, obviously, as, as uh, the work continues and we get closer and closer to undertaking detailed engineering and get closer to actual construction, uh, we'll have to increase the size of our team even more. And uh, we'll, we'll be very selective in the people that we bring on board for this uh, very special niobium asset. It deserves it. Mark Smith, CEO of Niocorp, which can be traded as NB on the TSX Venture and as NIOBF on the OTCQX. Thanks so much for being here with us today and for giving us an update and insight into Niocorp. Jeb, yeah, it's our, our pleasure, and uh, with all this good technical work going on, we look forward to additional updates uh, whenever you've got the time. Uh, we will make the time. So thank you for the opportunity. Mm -hmm.